you are watching Psycho Cruises all on one sport bike channel. Subscribe today. Okay, the camera mic settings. The Sony HDR AS100V will be running in 1080 by 30 frames per second in vivid color mode. Video stabilizer will be on and off for different tests. The pro mode was not used, so no 50 megabytes per second in this video. The Sony lapel mic was used, and this camera is mounted on the top of my helmet. For the GoPro Hero 2, will be running at 1080 by 30 frames per second with the flexible mic, and it's mounted on the chin bar of my helmet. The Sony HR-AS15 will be running at 1080 by 30 frames per second, no video stabilizer, and no external mic, and it's mounted on the right side of my helmet. Notice, the default camera used in this video will be the GoPro Hero 2 on the helmet chin bar with the flexible external microphone. Hey guys, I'm going to do a test with this Sony HDR AS100V in 1080 by 30 frames per second, which is supposed to be the best uh, video resolution mode for this camera. Uh, currently I have it mounted on the top of my helmet. I did uh, do a video on how to install that. I just uh, haven't uploaded yet, but as soon as I get that up, I'll include a link in the info section of this video. And, uh, and also I have the old Sony action camera, the HDR AS15 on the right side of my helmet, so we'll be able to compare all three cameras in 1080 by 30 frames per second. I'm turning video stabilization off and I'll also do some video with the stabilization on so you can see the difference. Uh, but I have my smartphone, my iPad, excuse me, my iPhone uh, running the Sony HDR AS15 on the side of my helmet so we'll hit record on that. And of course I have the watch here, the remote watch that has the screen on it for the uh, HDR AS100V which is really cool because I can set up the shot I can see exactly uh, what it looks like while it's recording and uh, you can toggle through the resolution mode you can cut uh, you can turn on video stabilization or cut it off via this watch you can control other cameras I think this is really awesome it's waterproof it's better than using the smartphone because a smartphone you only can use it at stops you have to stop pull it out of your pocket you know it's not your phone's not waterproof as where this is waterproof and you can start and stop it while you're riding so we'll go ahead and get started okay press record on the watch and let's get out of here and see what this video looks like I'm hoping that the video resolution looks better than the last video which I did in 1080 by 60 frames per second but I found out the bit rate is lower so that's why the video quality suffered uh, but it looked really bad it looked washed out so this is supposed to be the optimum resolution mode so we'll see As you guys know for or at least for those of you that have been keeping up with this video series is uh, I'm running the Sony external mic the Sony ECSM or something like that whatever I'll include a link in the info section of this video it doesn't sound all that great uh, in the helmet but I have a couple of more mics coming so I hope to test those out and hopefully we can find a mic that makes it sound good or at least sound as good as this uh, GoPro Hero 2 which I love the sound on and for the GoPro Hero 2 as you guys know I have the flexible mic which I've always been using and the old Sony action camera on the side of my helmet yeah, I'm not running a mic on there we're just using the video for that and uh, so hopefully the video looks better uh, for those of you guys that haven't been keeping up with this video series my first uh, test video that I did, I ran the Sony HDR AS100V in 720 by 120 frames per second high speed mode and uh, overcast and low light conditions and it didn't look that good, didn't look as good, didn't look as, good as the GoPro Hero 2 and the second video was 1080 by 60 frames per second that rate was lower, uh, so it looked a little bit more washed out. I haven't been pleased with this camera so far, so I'm just there's, there's one more hope though. There's one more hope if this looks bad here compared to the GoPro Hero 2 is when I get the Sony, not the Sony, excuse me, the 
SDXC card, I put that into the camera, I'll be able to activate the pro mode. And the pro mode will allow me to record at 50 megabits per second. And hopefully that will make the video look clearer. And I'll also edit the video in Final Cut Pro X. I'm going to go ahead and pull over here. And I'm going to turn on the video stabilization. And we're going to see what difference that makes. See if the video quality suffers. Okay. Okay. Okay, I just cut off video stabilization for the Sony HDR AS100V. So hopefully, let's see what it looks like here compared to with the uh, the video stabilization turned off. Already, I did a video in 1080 by 30 frames per second on a twisty road around here that I wanted to showcase for you guys. And it looked uh, looked pretty decent, but it wasn't all. It wasn't really sharp. It looked okay, but you know, it didn't look as sharp as the GoPro Hero 2. So I don't know. I'm like I said. I'm holding out hope for the 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 Pro mode. Uh, to run it in 50 megabytes per second. Hopefully that will clean up the video. And uh, But it did look, uh, the video stabilization did look pretty smooth on that twisty road. So we'll see. I'm also going to head over to a parking lot and I'm going to do some video testing. Uh, with the camera still and we'll see uh, we'll compare the video resolution between the cameras at least between the GoPro Hero 2 and the Sony HDR AS100V in 1080 by 30 frames per second and I'll also do the super slow mode at 720 by 120 frames per second and 480 by 240 frames per second and just see what that looks like for the heck of it Also, I'm going to ride, take a ride tonight, and I'm going to do some uh, video testing at night, and we'll see what the night shots look like. Normally, as people do, as they're coming to a stoplight, I was sitting at the stoplight, by the way, and I look back. You always want to pay attention to your surroundings, man. Don't just sit on your fucking bike and sit there in La La Land or listen to your music and jamming and shit. You got to be at, you know, at alert 100% all the time. And, uh, but I, I noticed that she was going a little too fast in back of me, man. I stood up on my scooter and, uh, I looked that bitch dead square in her eye. And she stopped about, about two feet from the back of my, uh, scooter. And I mean, she stopped hard. And she knew she messed up, too. She knew that, like, she was... She was in the wrong because she looked all sheepish, sheepish, and uh, looking all guilty and shit. <laughs> and I gave her that eye. I looked at her. I was like, "Uh huh. Better take your drunk ass home without killing somebody, man." All right, we've got the video stabilizer on, and we're in 1080 by 30 frames per second. 
So we'll see what it looks like here at night. See how smooth it looks, the quality. So hey guys, that's all I have for you. So until next time, be on the lookout for the next test video. And that'll be with the Sony HDR AS100V in the pro mode at 50 megabits per second. So look out for that video. So until next time guys, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces! The links to get the items seen in this video are located in the info section of this video. So be sure and go and check that out. So until the next video, which will be my video testing in pro mode, I'll catch you guys later. Be sure to check out my Sony HDR AS100V Moto Vlog 6 part video series where I do full Moto Vlog testing with this camera in all aspects including resolution, using different mics, uh, different applications and also putting it in pro mode which will give you 50 megabytes per second we'll see if this camera is good for moto vlogging the final installment will be a cumulative review and I'll tell you whether give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down before you do a video request you might want to check out my website at cyclecruiser.com and check out my video library and playlists you may find the video that you're looking for just click on the my videos tab if you get a chance, like me at facebook.com forward slash psychocruiser1 for new updates and to browse my video library. Hey, I'm on Instagram now. So if you get a chance, follow me at instagram.com forward slash psychocruiser. Yeah. Get your psychocruiser sport bike themed apparel at psychocruiser.com. Psychocruiser.com. Hey guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.